Okay, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Mang the Duelist. And today is a big day, huge big patch, 0.0.22, which doesn't sound like a big patch number, but it is. Um, okay, so I'll just go down the list of the patch notes, we'll talk about them. First of all, there's now oh, basically faction leveling. So each faction at this point in time can be leveled from 1 to 10, much like Hearthstone. Um, although Hearthstone goes to 50. And basically, really, in Hearthstone, only up to 10 matters. Everything after that is just golden cards. Um, so they don't have golden cards in Duelist, so really it's 1 to 10 right now. Each faction starts with a limited number of basic cards, and from there you unlock the rest of the cards as rewards by leveling up your faction. There are also limited gold, spirit, and booster pack rewards as part of leveling up each faction. So yeah, uh, I'll be doing that. Crafting now only uses spirit. Oh boy. That is very good news, because shards were the main reason why nobody could really craft all the commons that they wanted. So that was a much needed change. I'm amazed it took this long. Um, and now booster packs only get five cards instead of six, but they said that they've improved the rarity distribution. So we'll have to see about that as soon as we open our many booster packs. Then the sixth faction has arrived, the Vaynar, or the Vanar. I don't remember what I said I was going to call them. I kind of like Vaynar, but I don't know what I said I liked last time, so I don't know. Vaynar. Uh, the Vaynar unique ability is Infiltrate. Gain a bonus when on the enemy side of the battlefield. So the Vaynar, is, the Infiltrate is very similar to Backstab. Um, and we're going to have to try it, but... Uh, I have all the Vaynar, they, they've listed all the Vaynar cards in the game here, and there are 30, 30 Vaynar cards right now, and I know I said that we were going to be going Magmar after the, the, the card wipe, but that was before I saw what the Vaynar is. Uh, we're going to be rocking Vaynar real hard, because the Vaynar cards are all about, they're very all frost oriented. And I am all about that shit. It's basically like Sub-Zero, the Duelist faction. And we'll be looking at all that cards in a little bit. But yes, we're going to be going Vaynar. It seems all really cool. And there's some really OP crazy shit. Which I'm sure will get nerf nerfed very soon. Maybe next week. So we need to get in on that real quick. Um, so let's look at the collection then. We'll go through all the patch changes. First, Linear. Uh, Aegis Barrier, I don't know what it used to be, but now you pick a friendly minion and can't be targeted by enemy spells. Okay, that's nice. Lionheart Blessing got a huge nerf. Big, big nerf. Um, they did lower the cost, but that doesn't matter, because now it's, whenever this minion deals damage, draw a card. So it's basically Blessing of Wisdom from Hearthstone. It used to be, uh, give a mi friendly minion zeal, plus four, plus four. So whenever they were next to you, they'd have plus four, plus four. That was big. Um, so I don't think really anybody's gonna run Lionheart Blessing. Maybe some people if they really want card draw, but it's just not great. It's it's a lot like Blessing of Wisdom. Um, what else did they change? They changed uh, this guy. The went from a seven seven to a six six, and now provoke your minions may move an additional space. I believe it used to be. I, don't, I never played with him, but I think it was something like when this minion takes damage, heal your general for two or something like that. So, I think that's personally a nerf overall, but, yeah. And then finally, Grandmaster Zero got his stats buffed a little bit. Um, which, you know, for your, your big faction legendary, he should be pretty beefy. So, 12 health, pretty good, but there is a lot of instant removal in the game. Songhai. Songhai, in my opinion, got one huge buff that I'm shocked at how big of a buff it is. Um, Artifact Defiler went from 3 cost to 2. Okay, it's still not crazy great, but there it is. Um, Mask of Shadows got a buff, I think, because it used to just give you backstab a certain amount, but now it gives plus 2 attack and backstab 4. So that can be pretty crazy if you can pull it off, but that's not common. Um, Jade Monk... 
Jade Monk went from a 2-4 to a 4-3, but now it only does one damage to a random enemy. I think this was a slight nerf, because that the, the random effect was pretty insane. Um, and 3 health, not great, but, you know, it's an alright minion, I guess. Gorehorn is still really good. Um, but the huge change, big, big change, was to Heaven's Eclipse. This used to do, I think, 2 damage to a minion for every spell you've cast that game. Which was alright for burning up a big minion. You know, you you had your legendary that just... For, you know, that one spell later on in the game, you could use it to clear any one minion, pretty much. But now, three cost, draw three spell cards from your deck. That's insane in just a song high burn deck. That's real crazy. Um... So yeah, I think that it, I think that will be in pretty much every song I burn deck cuz why wouldn't you put it in? Uh okay. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Abyssian. Uh dark fire sacrifice I think got nerfed down to two less instead of three less. Mm, okay. Uh curse of agony. Uh this used to be deal the enemy general damage equal to that minion's attack when it died which was you could pull it off for some pretty crazy shit now it's three damage to all nearby enemies which isn't i that's still kind of useful you can set up some good shit with that um spectral blade uh returned because isn't this what they just took out because they gave you flying unless i'm forgetting some whatever that was your general gains two attack whenever your general destroys an enemy restore two health to your general Okay, um, not bad, but I, it's basically true silver. This is true silver now, because you can hit for four, and you get two health back after you you hit something, but you have to kill it to do it, but most likely you're going to set it up so that you do, um, but there you go. Uh, Shadow Watcher got a much-needed buff, in my opinion. Where is that? Went from a 1-1 one, one to a 2-2. Two, two. One health on the Shadow Watcher was just... That was... That's kind of offensive. They could have made it a 1-2. It would have been all right. But there you go. Um, and then Soul Grimoire went from whatever, what, 4 or 5 cost down to 3. Because you rarely see this. But it is a legendary. Uh, Magmar Dampening Wave went from minus 2 attack to an enemy minion to it no longer strikes back when attacked. Um, so that could be pretty useful. Put that on like that 7-2 shit. And just whack them, done. Um, but the minus two attack had a lot of uses, and it really worked well with like the um, the natural selection and that other one. The I don't even remember what it was called. The one that dealt killed everything that was three or less. So you could set up shit like that. Um, Mana burn now does damage to a minion or general on that space. Chrysalis burst got buffed. Um, cause now it went from four eggs to three eggs. Uh, Grimrock got buffed, went from a two, four to a three, four. And that was, that's just a straight buff. And then Silithar Elder, the big legendary, um, that got changed at the end of your turn. Summon a Silithar Elder egg in a random nearby space. I don't know what it used to be. But that sounds very similar to what it was, unless it was the start of your turn, maybe. I don't remember. Uh, okay, and then finally, Vitruvian changes. Drain Morale. Got, it used to be minus one, minus one, or minus one to attack, I think, to every enemy minion. Now it's choose an enemy minion, it may no longer move. Which, in my opinion, that could be a lot better than just minus one attack across the board. But it depends on what you're going up against. Uh, Hexblade. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where's Hexblade? There it is. General gains plus three attack. Whenever your general damages an enemy minion, its attack becomes one. Uh. Hmm. I mean, you have five attacks, so what are you really... I mean, basically this means you can hit something and only hit you back for one. But most of the time, whatever you're going to hit is probably going to die. And you're still going to lose a charge on the Hexblade. But, yeah, that's 
potentially pretty good. But generally, if, you know, Vitruvian generals are whacking stuff for big damage, they usually have Blast. Um, unless that's what the, that was the artifact that gave them Blast, but I don't think they would do that. No, that's that one. So Wildfire Ankh and the other one, that might be a good combo. Uh, Rosh's Curse went from one cost to two costs. They, they, they reversed that real quick. Um... Yeah, everybody was complaining about that shit. And then Wind Shriek. Um, it used to be 4-4, now it's a 4-3, but it draws a card when it dies. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's good. It's not very interesting, but it's it's nice. Um, and then as far as neutral changes, um, nothing crazy. A couple of the Mechazor mobs uh, got slight buffs which wasn't necessary in my opinion venom toth that bullshit one that i had like that was like a one four and did one damage whenever your enemy some dominion um this guy he's now a three three uh okay i still wouldn't really love playing him but there you go and I don't know, it was some other crap that nobody really cares about. Red Sinja got nerfed. It used to be deal seven damage to all nearby enemy minions. Now it's a random nearby enemy minion, so that was a nerf. But you like rarely ever saw Red Sinja, but I don't know. I didn't play at the high level, so who knows? Okay, so let's go over the Vaynar cards now. We're just going to go through all of them, and then we're going to get to booster packs, and then we might actually play something. You never know. <laughs> Flash free, zero cost spell, deal one damage to a minion, and stun it. And this right here, this shows you pretty much the entire theme of the deck. The whole deck, the whole faction, is based around control, as far as I can see. Like, you know, sequestering away the pesky minions, isolating the ones that you need to kill, i.e. the general, and then just destroying it. I think that that's... At least from reading all the cards, that's the idea that I got. So this just... The one damage, sure, but the stun, I think, is the more important. For free. I don't know if I'll run three of those, but we'll throw at least one of those in. Polarity for zero cost. Switch a minion's attack and health. Yes, please. That's great. We'll be running three of those. Mesmerize for one cost. Uh, next turn, the opponent's minions cost one extra. situational and you don't know if it's going to be useful or not you you have no idea if it's going to be useful i mean yeah you can look at the opponent's hand you can see how many cards they have and later on i don't know i don't know about this one this could require some testing but it's kind of just like i Maybe it'll be good this turn. Maybe won't. It may, maybe it won't. he was just going to summon one big guy either way, and he was going to have an extra mana. You don't know. Snow Chaser. Uh, one cost, 2-1, and infiltrate. So when it's on the other side of the battlefield, it gets Frenzy. Okay. For one cost, that's not terrible. Aspect of the Fox. Uh, two cost spell turn one minion into a three three fox ravager with celerity this one's really interesting and in this need i need to check this out in plagues people were speculating about this if you have a minion out say a snow chaser if he's like ready to be activated and you turn him into the fox does he still get to go and or, and or, if he does go and he moves on to the other side of the battlefield, does he immediately get celerity and get to go again? If he does, then that's ridiculous and it's awesome and there will be three of them in my deck. But, either way, that's not bad to turn some bullshit little minion into something actually pretty useful. Bone Chill Barrier. Here's our first really weird thing. Summon three joined zero two frost walls. Minions that attack these walls are stunned. So this is what I was talking about, about kind of isolating certain troublemaking things. If they can't, you know, if they can't really get him away, if they can't teleport him or if he can't fly or something like that, yeah, he's going to be stuck there for at least a turn. So you might say it's very similar to Flash Freeze where it just more or less stuns them, although a less a little less reliably, but 
I think this has maybe more utility. You can do some tricky shit with walls, so we'll see about that. Borean Bear, our basic two cost, common minion. Whenever you summon a frost minion, this minion gains plus one attack. And so this introduces the new um, keyword frost, of which basically all the minions are in the Vaynar deck. Um, and there isn't a tremendous amount of frost, but there's enough. Um, so if you even get, you know, one, if you get one out along with him, then he's a two, three for two with potential for more. That's not terrible, but if you can throw two more out there, three, three for two is not bad for a, uh, for a common cold biter, legendary artifact at the end of your turn, your general deals two damage to each nearby enemy minion. Yes. Yes, so you can basically get free kills without losing any durability, anything like that. That could be good. Now, if it was like deal your attack damage to each nearby enemy minion, then that would be ridiculous. Crystal Cloaker, 2 cost, 1, 3, infiltrate, gain, plus 2 attack. Yeah, so that's going to be our, our thing that we just keep throwing out there. And he's Frost, so yeah, we're going to be comboing those things. Frost Fire, one friendly minion gains plus three attack. If it is Frost, it also gains plus three health. Yes, there will be three of those. Hearth Sister, three, two for two. Opening Gamut may switch spaces with any other minion on the battlefield. Again, yes. Um, right at the start, you throw this guy down, switch him with another guy. You know, you can have Cold Biter out or something. You just whack, whatever, you know, that combo wombo. There's potential there. Very good, I like it. Mark of Solitude. One minion becomes 5-5. Five, five. It can no longer attack generals. Okay. I mean, obviously, you see the potential for your own minions. They can clear a bunch of other minions because you could make it a 5-5 five, five and then buff it up to an 8-8 eight, eight and so on and so forth. But you could also potentially use it on other minions, enemy minions, that are a threat to you. That could potentially work as well. Again, control. Unstoppable force, epic spell. One friendly minion gains plus two attack. Prevent all damage to that minion this turn. Again, holy shit. Um, yes, I really, <laughs> I really like that. Blazing spines, three cost spell. Summon two joined three three walls that can attack nearby enemies. So you're basically getting two three three minions for three, but they can't move. But, sometimes that doesn't matter. Because if you, you can block people in, like, it's yeah, it's a spell. So, you know, there's no, you can put it anywhere on the board. So, yeah, that could be good. Chromatic Cold. Deal two damage to all enemy minions in one row and stun them. So this is more stun shit. Um, this is basically blast. You're blasting a row for two damage and stunning them. There's potential there. Glacial Elemental, 3 cost, 2, 3, rare. It's a frost. Whenever you summon a frost minion, deal 2 damage to a random enemy minion. Again, combo wombo. Gravity Well, legendary spell for 3 mana. Summon 4 joined 0, 1 walls with provoke. You can just lock something away for a long time if, the, if your opponent cannot deal with that. Um, that's pretty good. Snowpiercer, three cost artifact, your general gains plus four attack. Straight up, just boom. You have six attack for three mana. Yeah, I mean, there'll probably there'll be three of those, because when is that really not going to be useful? Aspect of the Drake, epic spell for four. Turn one minion into a 4-4 four, four white drake with flying. Then all friendly minions nearby gain flying. Now again, you can turn an enemy minion into a 4-4. Four, four. So this... Also, could potentially count as, like, soft removal. If they have, like, a huge minion, like an 8-12, boom, it's now 4-4. And you can even get some flying benefits out of it as well. Um, but, yeah, again, options. You have options. I like it. I don't know if we'll get it because it's epic, but we'll see. Avalanche, deal 4 damage to all minions and generals on your starting side of the battlefield and stun them. Poof situational very situational because generally 
I mean, I, I like this whole thing with the infiltrate and with this spell and positioning is even more important now. It's like, you know, you don't want the the Vaynar to be on your side because he's going to get all the infiltrate bonuses. You want to push him over to your side. But if you push too hard, boom, maybe he's got Avalanche. And this is a this is going to be a basic spell. I'm going to get three of these, I'm pretty sure. So Vaynars are going to have this. All right, Ice Blade Dryad, 5-5 five, five for 4, just straight up. And it's Frost, so yeah, we'll be running a bunch of those. Razorback, 4-3 for 4. Opening Gambit, your other non-wall minions gain plus 2 attack. All of them. Just, there you go. Okay. That's nice. Voice of the Wind, Legendary. It looks like something out of Princess Mononoke, but Ice. 1-4 <laughs> one four with for 4. Whenever you summon a minion from your action bar, summon a 2-2 two -two win Winter Merid into a nearby space. Um, if this guy survives a turn later in the game, yeah, that could be nuts, but I doubt he will. Wolf Raven, uh, one four for four, flying, infiltrate, gain plus four attack. Yeah, we'll throw a few in. Arctic Displacer, five cost, ten four with airdrop. So you can just throw this anywhere on the board, and you combine it with, like, those walls or some shit with provoke, if they can't deal with that, boom, 10 damage. Or maybe even more, you know, if it gets buffed. Or if you put that, um, what was that called? Frostfire on it. Boom. Now it's a 13-7. Good luck. And here's the most OP. Like, I couldn't even believe this shit. This, this is a basic card. I'm going to get three of these. Every Vaynar player will have three of these if they play Vaynar. If they level it up. Five cost, four, five. <laughs> Dying Wish, summon a 4-5 Ghost Wolf in his place. Now, I don't know what the Ghost Wolf is. It might have a drawback. But if it doesn't, this is Karn Bloodhoof as a basic card. That's insane. Now, yeah, if it gets dispelled, then, oh, it's a, it's, it's a Yeti. You know, whatever. But if it doesn't get dispelled, and the, early, the only other way then would be that Dark Transformation or whatever... That might not even be the name of the card. The one, the Abyssian card where it kills you and summons a Wraithling. That, that's really hard counter. Um, but if not, this thing is ridiculous. This will be in every Vaynar deck. Ridiculous. I can't imagine that staying as it is, unless the Ghost Wolf has a big drawback. But I don't know how much of a drawback it could have. Frosthorn Rhino, 5 cost, 6, 5. Infiltrate, game plus 1 attack. And Celerity, that's very dangerous if they let it live a turn. Aspect of the Mountains, 6 cost legendary spell. Turn 1 minion into a 5-5 five, five seismic elemental. And again, I don't know what that is right now. And then deal 5 damage to nearby enemy minions. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's close to... That could be better than Spiral Technique, potentially. The old Spiral Technique. Um, Prismatic Giant. This is the other one I thought was pretty crazy. Six cost, four eight. Summon a four eight Ice Warg in its place when it dies. So it's like it's like the War Master, but it's epic and costs one more. But it's a four eight. Crazy. And then finally, Ancient Grove seven seven for seven. Opening Gambit. Your other friendly minions gain Dying Wish. Put a two three Treant into this space. This is basically just a win more card. Like if you have enough minions on the board, where this really like will affect a bunch i think you're already in a winning position but we'll see so yeah vaynar i just I, I like it i like all i like everything i want all of it i want all of it that that's gonna be our shit from now on so we have 3293 gold because we opened 32 booster packs before the the wipe so we got all that gold back and that's what we're gonna be doing um now, again, we only get five cards now, but they say the rarity distribution's better. They also mention that it's going to be Vaynar heavy. I don't know precisely what they mean by that. Because I think people that aren't interested in Vaynar will get kind of pissed off at that, because everything got wiped. So... Okay, let's get started. We're looking for Vaynar and Neutral. There we got a Borean Bear. Primus Fists. I, Mechazord. Yeah, okay. 
All right, as long as I get one Vaynar card every pack, I'll be kind of happy. At least one, at least one. Um, like there, we didn't get any Vaynar cards, and that doesn't make me happy, but we did get two rares and an epic. Oh, three rares and an epic, I can't even count. So that was a good pack, I guess. Just not anything we're really interested in. Not even Magmar cards. That's also what I'd be kind of looking for. <sighs> More Abyssian shit. Dark Spine Elemental. Um, yeah, not, not as good. But there you go. We got plenty more to go through. Ah, uh, yes. Frosthorn Rhino. That'll be going in. Definitely. Two, two, two epics. And a Rust Crawler. And this card is pretty, pretty decent. Okay. Except that one is an alright one. Um, bunch of neutral. I don't know if anything I'd really use. Maybe. I, mm, I just, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I mean, I'd like to think Duelist is at that point where that could be really useful to get, but I don't see it working. Um, Crimson Oculus. I kind of like that card. I think that's pretty cheesy. And a Silhouette Tracer. Probably throw one of those in. Not getting a whole lot of Vaynar. Come on. I need it. Oh, we got a Tusk Boar. Probably going to disenchant that. Um, I really don't want to go near Songhai at this point. Um, our, our time is done with that for now. Until major changes happen. Okay, not great. Come, give me Vaynar. <laughs> Unstable Leviathan. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, we're gonna be making a Magmar deck at some point during this this cycle, so do not fret about that. But I'm really just looking for. There we go. Blazing Spines. Nice, nice, nice. We got Artifact Hunter. Probably going to throw that in. Um, especially if, like, the only artifacts in our deck is the Snowpierce or whatever. And, like, you're guaranteed to pull it. That's pretty good. Probably going to disenchant. Probably going to disenchant, like, everything from Songhai. Because I would explore probably the other factions before that. That's just nothing... Wolf Raven. We got the Wolf Raven. Okay, we're getting plenty of Iron Cliff Guardians. I don't know why they're giving me that shit. Um, yeah, not much. Got plenty more to go, though. Again, not much. We're going to keep it going. Another Wolf Raven. Our, I think our first Vaynar deck is not going to be great until we unlock all the basic cards. But we, we will. Okay, we got Mind Steel. For Magmar. But come on! Like, Vaynar heavy? Vaynar is like the least amount here! All right, there's a Borean bear. No, I mean, that's good. We wanted all those, but... Come on, Vaynar heavy my ass. They lied. Nothing. Another Rust Crawler, I guess. And Lightbender's not bad. <laughs> oh, Spiral Technique. Um, was this card always here? Fireblade or 5-5 five, five, Provoke for 5? Because isn't that the hail, whatever, the the frost-looking guy, isn't he like the same thing? I don't know. 
We got, oh, Glacial Elemental and Razorback. That's good. Like what I'm seeing there. I gotta get one Vaynar Legendary in this whole thing. Come on. Another Iron Cliff Guardian. Come on. Come on. More Magmar stuff, though. I guess I can't complain too much. Another Wolf Raven. I think that's our third one. So we're set on Wolf Ravens. Another Cyclone Mask. Like, why? Who Who's handling the distribution here? Vaynar Heavy. Vaynar Heavy! That's right. I mean, we're going to be disenchanting loads, and it should be easier to craft shit now, so. Yeah, we're going to be disenchanting loads of stuff. Seven more. Nothing. Are they sure this is random? Like, this doesn't feel random. Doesn't feel random. Okay, I think that's our third Borean bear, so that's good. But there should be other stuff involved here. Nope. I'm seeing just a lot of the same names pop up. Look, like, look, this is not random. They need to fix their distribution. That's bullshit. You don't get that many of the same Lion Art Rare. Look, come on. All right, come on. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, that's, that's not random. Or if maybe it is random. How can you really tell? If it's random, though, I'm having some real shitty luck. All right, we did not get the Vaynar Heavy that I was promised. Um... But we're going to be disenchanting loads. We're going to first do, uh, disenchant our extras. So that's 175 right there. Alright, so... Let's make a new squad. We'll, of course, call this Sub-Zero. Alright. So we're just going to throw in every Vaynar card available to us. Because we need to try out everything. All right, so looking at our distribution then, uh, we want more three drops. Probably another one or two four drops, a few more fives, and then some one or two big shit. So, um, well, we want our three dispels. Dispels is big. Is Crystal Wisp now a basic card? They just gave three to everybody. That doesn't fix the problem. Ah, <laughs> uh, it does not fix the problem. All right. Um, the spells and the wisps eat up a bunch of your deck, though. Okay, Crimson Oculus. We'll try that. Um, Artifact Hunter. Like, this is actually just a, a good card. A 3-3 three, three for 3 with Frenzy is just good on its on its own. I'm going to throw two of those. Oh, the Hailstone is a 4-6 for 4. And it used to have Provoke. They didn't even mention that, did they? I could have sworn this used to have Provoke. Or unless I'm going insane. I don't know. Um, I got four spots left. I need some more endgame. So, we'll try the Fire Blazer. The... Uh, be, be. Sure. We'll just try that. Alright, let us finally play a game if you've been, just been waiting for gameplay this entire time. So, so have I.
Vanna versus Vanna. What a shock! <laughs> okay, we're gonna be seeing a lot of our same shit. Borean Bear is not incredible at this point. So we don't have a huge number of Frost Minions. Um, so I don't think it's worth it to just throw him out at this point. Even though we can use Frost Fire on him and turn him into a 3-6. Or 4-6. Which is not bad for 4 mana. It's basically a Hailstone. This just has a bit more potential to it. I can't- they made this a basic card. Why? Like, uh, that doesn't- I would have been happier if they just removed it. See? Everyone is gonna have three of these in their deck. Bar, just- oh god. Got our Ice Blade Dryad. Ice Blade Dryad, Frostfire. I mean, right now, I don't know what real removal a uh, starting Vaynar player has. If at all. I'm not sure if they have any real removal. Not that I remember from the list. Uh, they can switch a minion's attack and health, but that wouldn't really do much. They can turn minions into other things, but that's not hard removal. I actually don't think they have any hard removal at, at all. So that might be their downside. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you summoned a minion. I think he thought it was going to be a 2-3. He would just hit it there, hit it there. Uh, life did not work out so easily. But Snowpiercer will do the job. So, like, there are, everyone's going to run Snowpiercer. It's just, it's just a good card. Man, I think I'm better off with the provoke. I wonder if these walls are frost minions, and that counts for the bear and shit. That would be interesting to find out. Okay, Mesmerize comes out. And it doesn't really do anything for you right now. It doesn't solve any problem you might have on the board. You're just hoping that it affects me in my next turn. This is a spell. Alright, they are not frost. They 
are just minions. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. This minion can never move and is immediately removed from the battlefield if dispelled. Oh, okay. So dispel, man, dispel is going to be huge, even bigger than it used to be. I don't know if that's what they really want, but because silence in Hearthstone used to be like mandatory, like if you didn't have any silence in any deck, like you were just nothing. But nowadays, you kind of get away with shit. Cycle out this. Dispel. I don't think it's even worth for me to do that. I don't think that's something you just throw out there and hope that it makes it survive. I think that's something you do just to get the plus three attack. I mean, the health is... Although for against Vaynar, I guess, probably the health is beneficial. It's a wolf raven. How cool is that? <laughs> Actually, move next to a wall. Okay, he's got to have something going on. Otherwise, he would have moved over here. I guess maybe he didn't want to be backed into a corner. Ah, the Arctic Displacer. Okay. I know what he's trying to do, but I mean, I can move through my own walls, so I don't. And he, I don't, I don't think he, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what he's thinking. Uh, we're gonna dispel. This. We're gonna stun this. We're gonna buff this. And we're gonna bring out this. Good luck. Tricky situation to be in. <laughs> Done. Victory. There you go, we leveled up. Seven of ten Vaynar cars unlocked. Okay. Uh, but we got Aspect of the Fox, so we're going to need to put that in. And we're rank 12! And we got that! And we got that! And we can get another booster pack. Maybe this will be the Vaynar heavy one. Five Vaynar cards. All the legendary. Nope, 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 nope. But we did get two epics, including another Artifact Hunter. Okay. So, oh, I have duplicate cards. Five more spirits. Uh, and yes, uh, I know I could craft s stuff, um, but I'm just doing the basic shit. Okay, so we have Aspect of the Fox now, which is a two-cost spell. We only have seven spells in the whole deck. So we're going to want to take out some minions. I'm gonna take out Serpentine because I don't like that. We'll take out a Wisp. 
and we'll take out a flash freeze. We'll play one more game with this deck, and then I'll end the video, and then I got some crafting and disenchanting and all that kind of stuff. Versus yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to be seeing a lot of Vanars, and I guess that's how it's officially pronounced. Okay, no, not really useful. Okay, we'll stick with that. We could have just gone fishing for uh, Crystal Wisp. Bam. Okay, we can attack for 10 <laughs> in a little while. That's kind of nuts. And I could cast this to get the other one. And we could just decimate him, basically. Although he is rank 5. Can't mess around. But, I mean, 14 attack? Obviously, yeah, I mean, we're not going to be able to just equip all these in one go. Clever girl. Uh, this guy knows what he's doing. Quite anywhere where I need to be. That was a good play on his part. I, I mean, when I, as soon as I got the Primus Fist, I thought about it. Cause that on walls? Yeah, that's not bad. Are you kidding me with this? What kind of draw is that? It is really better if I just use the Snowpiercer to kill it, because I really have no alternative. But... Damn if that's not annoying. Actually, that would have brought him down to 10 health, but... Control! Control is the key! I still have the artifact on then. He's going to have to do something about it. 
Crimson Oculus soon. If I can get Frostfire on the bear, 4-6 isn't bad. Or I can just turn him into this shit. If I turn him into this shit... Well, he's going to move there, which doesn't stop me from hitting him, I guess. Wouldn't his better place be there? No, I guess I can still hit him there. Yeah, I can hit him from pretty much anywhere, I think. We're going to try to get this guy into a more advantageous position to turn him into a fox. From wolf, from bear to fox. Okay, that covers his ass. Cycle this. Okay. Uh, also, personally, I think he messed up that order, but okay. <sighs> Shit. For some reason, I was checking to see if he was a uh, frost. Mm, okay. I'm actually not doing that much better than he is, but. Maybe I should play the Wolf Raven instead. Could have been a combo wombo happening. Although he would have just dispelled that. So we'll play the Wolf Raven this time. Can these, like, not attack me? Even though they have an attack value? I have no idea. Scrambling. Like, man. He needs to move like here and block this off. But even then, I think this guy is going to get there. And this thing buffed. It's going to be big. I can double buff him, so it's plus 6 attack, so it's 11 damage. He's in real rough shape if he can't either kill this thing or get himself over to this side. Uh-oh. Okay. Is he going to run over here and sack it? Yeah, I would think so. Okay. Well, there you go. He managed to do it. And these walls can fly now. Even though they can never move. He's basically being annoying. Alright. 
right, dude. More walls. Jesus. It doesn't matter. Okay. He can get stunned for now. I don't. I don't mind this. Defenses. I think you can you can turn walls into this, can't you? Man, that's real cheese then. Walls are great. Kind of. Although the fact that he can't attack with them is kind of interesting. It doesn't say that they cannot attack even though they have an attack value. So maybe he's not trying, but you'd think a rank 5 player would try. So I don't know. Maybe they can't, which is weird. But I guess they are walls, even though you can make walls that can attack. I, I don't know. I'm just sitting on these two buffs. Like, if anything gets close to him, he's done. He's just being very evasive. going next to me. Is he at... Does he have lethal? Does he have the same combo wombo that I... No. Okay. Oh. No, but he'll die after the first hit. Oh, no. How did... Oh, he hit me first. Oh. See, that's why he's rank 5. Okay? He is better than I am. I don't know what I really learned from that. He was just able to pull off the damage before I was. Although... I don't know. I probably fucked up somewhere. But, okay, Vaynar, yes! I'd like to play somebody other than Vaynar uh, with my Vaynar. Uh, but we may never get that opportunity because everybody and their mom is playing as Vaynar. But there you have it. A new faction card wipe. All sorts of changes happening with Duelist. Better than ever. It's good stuff. <sighs> My name is Mang. This has been Mang the Duelist. I'll see you fine folks next time. <laughs>